The Rescue 2100 has advanced safety features to give you real-time feedback on the external battery to be jump-started, as well as the batteries inside the Rescue 2100. Knowing how to interpret this data will help you properly operate the unit. This video will discuss procedures to properly troubleshoot the Rescue 2100. Problem 1. The Rescue 2100 unit turns off under load. Three things can generally cause this to happen. First, the internal battery may be low. Check the internal battery voltage and recharge as needed. Another possible cause could be extremely high current draws present. This may be because there is a short circuit in the system to be jump-started. Check the system for short circuits. One final reason may be the load required may exceed the capacity of the Rescue 2100. Very large batteries or battery banks may require recharging, not jumpstart assistance. Problem 2. The green power light on the display fails to light when the start button is pressed, all while unit is making an audible tone. First, check the reverse polarity light. If it is illuminated, reverse the clamp connections. Next, check the voltage error light. If it is illuminated, select the correct battery voltage on the back of the unit. Another cause may be the internal battery voltage is below 8.5 volts. Check the internal battery voltage and recharge the unit. Problem 3. The Rescue 2100 will not recharge. If no tone is sounding, check the power cord for a secure connection and verify that the wall power outlet is live. If tone is sounding, turn the voltage selector to 12 volts. Problem 4. The low voltage light is lit and the unit will not engage. This can happen if the battery on the vehicle or equipment to be started is severely discharged. You can continue to use the Rescue 2100 in this situation, but the built-in safety features won't operate. That's because in order to verify polarity and voltage, the battery has to meet some minimum requirements. So you can continue, but be certain that you have connected the unit properly and selected the right voltage. First, verify that the proper voltage has been selected on the Rescue 2100. Next, verify that the clamps are connected correctly, positive to positive and negative to ground. Press and hold the start button for 4 seconds. You will see that the battery meter display will count down the seconds for you. Verify the green power light is on. The unit is now connected. Remember, no jump pack, regardless how powerful, will be able to jumpstart a vehicle that has a defective or inoperable battery. In other words, no matter what jump pack you're using, you still need a healthy battery inside the vehicle that needs jump starting. For more videos on rescue products, visit quickhowto.com.